Hello there and welcome back. We are now in chapter two, which is crafting your first level. And over the next few videos, we're going to be creating this environment that you can see here. Uh, so you can see, oh, here we go. We've got all different pieces and we're also going to set it up so that we can take the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin and run around this little level that we're creating. So that's what's coming up. And before we can get stuck into that, we're going to need to download the assets that are used to create this level. So that's what we'll look at first of all. There will be a link to the resource pack in the video description or in the course notes or wherever else I put it for you. And when you follow that link, you will see something like this. So here is the Unreal Engine 5 course resources. It's in a zip file. You'll need to just right click on it and go to download like that. I've already downloaded it though. So I'll show you that it currently resides on my desktop. There it is. And before you can use it, you will need to unzip the folder. If you don't unzip it, you can't get at the files. So in my case, I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to go to extract all, and then I'll just click on extract and that will put it in a folder just beside it. And you can see that if we look inside, we have a folder called chapter two because we're currently in chapter two and here are the pieces we'll need. There will be more folders as I continue to build the course out. But for now, we only need chapter two. And then we've got these meshes here that we will need to import. So make sure you've got those downloaded before moving on. Now we need to go back into Unreal Engine. So here we are back in Unreal Engine, back in our empty level that we created last time. And what we need to do now before we bring this mesh in is a little bit of organization. So control and spacebar brings up my content drawer. You can see I'm still in my levels folder. So I'm just going to go back to the content folder by clicking here. And then here's my folders. I've got the levels one that I created last time. And we now need another one, which we're going to call meshes. So right click in some empty space, go to new folder, give it a name. So I'm going to call this one meshes. Beautiful. And then open that folder up. And it's this folder that we're going to put our first mesh in. And we're going to get a piece of floor and bring that in. So right click in the empty space in that folder. And then up at the top, you've got the option to import to game slash meshes, which is the folder we're in. And then it brings up this dialogue and you can see that I'm on my desktop here. Here's the folder that I've just extracted. So we'll go in there and in the chapter two folder, and then we're looking for this mesh here. So it's SM underscore floor underscore one. And the SM denotes that it's a static mesh, just in case you wanted to know what that naming convention was all about. So we're going to open that. And then we are greeted with the FBX import options, and we need to make sure we get these right as we import. So the first thing that we're going to leave turned on is generate missing collisions because I haven't created collisions for all of these meshes. So we're going to let Unreal Engine do that for us. We're also going to tick the box for combine meshes. I find this is generally quite useful in case you've left your assets as separate meshes in your 3D modeling application, such as Maya. So we'll tick that and then we're going to just scroll down. And one change that I want to make, we're not importing any materials with this. So where it says material import method, we're just going to go do not create material. And then import textures. No, we don't want to do that either. So we'll make that false. And that's now ready to import this first mesh. So we'll click on the import button. And then for some reason, it closes your content drawer. So we'll just bring that back. And you can see that mesh is now imported into our meshes folder. So that will do it for this step. We've got our mesh in and we've done a bit of organization. And in the next one, we're going to open up in the static mesh editor, add some materials and get it ready to put into the level. So I will see you in the next step. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you're eager to dive deeper into game development with Unreal Engine 5, I have a fantastic recommendation for you. I highly recommend checking out the course Unreal Engine 5 The Complete Beginners Course by David Nixon on Udemy. It's a comprehensive and beginner friendly course that covers all the essential aspects of working with Unreal Engine 5. I personally found it to be an excellent resource and I'm sure you'll benefit from it too. Check it out by following my link in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.